Okay, let's get started with this switch mode power supply, the boost converter. What you do is open up ORCAD Capture and then start a new project. You can go to File, New Project, and make sure your settings are set to PSPICE Analog or Mixed AD. And the location, you want it to be in a folder that makes sense for you, right? So I created a folder called Boost, and then I selected this folder, Boost folder. Then I would call this the Boost underscore LM3748, and click OK. Then it'll ask if I want to do a blank project, and I just go with blank project. Do not go with a pre-done project and click OK. Then once you do that, you get a blank page that shows your schematic page here. If you did all of that correctly, then this will work just fine. I'm going to close this window and start from scratch. So firstly, how do you how do you get started, really? You know, you want to simulate a boost converter. Well, let's go to Place, Piece by Component, Search. We need to work with parts that can actually be simulated, and this is the best way to search for a simulatable part. Uh, simulatable is not a word, but I just made it a word so yeah that, that's that's how it is all right now under categories scroll down and then you would navigate to a folder called power management then let's go with something like uh i don't know a general purpose pwm controller and we'll go with voltage mode controller all right this is the lm3478 okay you can double click on here or just hit enter on your keyboard once it's highlighted to attach it to your cursor and then place it into your schematic page or canvas and voila your first part is placed the next step you would do is double click on the name of the device and copy it then you would go to some place like uh, digikey i like to go to digikey.com place the part name inside of digikey so you paste it right there Now we see evaluation boards and everything. Uh, let's, let's see what's going on here. We have evaluation boards that are based on the LM3478, but I actually want the part. So let's find out who this is from. Okay, so this is a Texas Instruments device. That's This is how you would normally go through this process. I already know this is Texas Instruments because I've gone through this before, but this is if you don't really know anything. Okay. Now, Texas Instruments, I really like because they have a lot of information on a lot of their parts. The next step you go do is go to the data sheet for the part you just found the name of. Once you open the data sheet, it would have a lot of reference, reference designs or application circuits. So I like to go to applications, uh, like application and implementation is good. And this would be the circuit that you would find here. You can do this for pretty much any chip uh, switch mode power supply. And this is a typical high efficiency step up boost converter. What we'll do is take a list or a log of these devices, or better yet, a screenshot of this. So what I'll do here is zoom in and use this as my reference design for my schematic. So how would I do that? Well, you would take a screenshot. If you're on a Mac, I'm using a Mac here, uh, then that's shift command four. Or if you're in Windows uh, 10 or seven, you can use, you can open up the snipping tool, which comes installed with Windows. Once you've taken the screenshot, depending on what you're using, you might have pop up. Uh, I'm using Snagit. And uh, yeah, this is what I pretty much would use. Then I can choose to share this. Uh, I'm not sure here. I'll share this in a file. Save the file here. We'll call this a ref schematic. And I'll save it inside of my project folder. Or some folder on the desktop. All right, now that that's saved, I'll show you how to import it in the next video.